Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Samsung Galaxy A32 5G. Okay, so what we need for is the pre-installed file explorer. So if you just scroll up here, we are in the app drawer and here we will have a Samsung folder at the beginning. And we will need this app here named My Files. Okay, first of all, you will have a nice overview here with all the images, with all the videos on your phone, with all the audio documents and so on. And uh, this uh, view we need here, the internal storage and the SD card. Okay, let's go first to the internal storage. And uh, here you will have all your folders on your internal storage with the stuff you can transfer. So uh, let's take or oh, let's start with the pictures from the camera. So I would recommend this to you to uh, transfer always the pictures from the camera and the videos and so on because this kind of data takes a lot of memory. So just start here with the DCIM folder because this is the camera folder no? and here we have the camera folder directly in there and now you have all the pictures you did and as well pictures and videos you did with your camera. Okay. Go on one picture you want to transfer and hold it until you have that view here. And now you can mark also other pictures you want to transfer. And in case you want to transfer all, what I think, then just go here on all. And now you have selected them all ready to transfer. And now you can go here on move if you want to transfer them completely to another place, like in our case to the SD card. Or you can copy them if you want to leave the copy the internal storage and just for safety a copy on the SD card. Okay, but in our case we want to uh, uh, make uh, more space here on our internal memory, on our internal storage. So just go on move. So, and now we go back with the arrows here so that we are back here in this view, in this main view of the file explorer. And then we go here on the SD card. So in my case, and I have an, an SD card I, I use often, I have already created some folders here. May in your SD card, there is no folder. And then I would recommend to you to create one. Um, if you go here on the three points and then you can create a new folder. Okay, but I want to keep going on with my existing folders. I have already a DCM folder here on my phone, DCM camera. And now I'm in the DCM camera folder of my SD card and now I go here on move here and now the pictures I have marked before on the internal storage they are automatically transferred to this um, SD card folder. Okay let me go back here again because I want to show you something else let me go back here on the internal storage because the same thing we did with files right now we can do it also with folders so you can also if you hold the DCM folder you can copy the complete folder to your SD card. If you go on like this, you can take also the documents and so on, the downloads and so on. Um, but please take care that you don't take uh, the Android folder here or other folders uh, like the Samsung folder here, because they can um, have some operating system data and your phone run not so well anymore and that we don't want to have. Um, so, but you can transfer folders or files like uh, uh, documents, um, uh, like PDF files, uh, uh, music files, uh, pictures, videos, and so on. And yeah. And then if you have marked this folder, same thing, just go on move or copy. Uh, I would recommend to go, uh, you to go on move. Um, and then do the same thing, go on the uh, SD card and move them there. Okay. One more thing, uh, just go here on the camera and here we have a setting a reel. Um, so just go here on the reel for the settings and then scroll down a bit to the point storage location. And in case uh, if it's still written here internal storage, you could change it into the SD card. The reason why is uh, because then your future pictures, if you have the storage location here with SD card, then your future pictures are going automatically to the DCM folder at the, DC, uh, at the uh, SD card. And that um, saves a lot of time because then you don't have to copy it always 
and so on. Yeah. One more thing again. Um, if you're looking now to transfer some app files and so on, or to transfer some apps, it doesn't work at this phone. So you can only transfer, as I said, document files like um, PDFs or music files or uh, videos, pictures, and so on. But you cannot copy app data. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your questions. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, or me, just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.